All right, this is my new synthesizer. It's uh, built using a Teensy 3.6, a Teensy audio board, and a Raspberry Pi Zero. The 3.6 board handles all of the controls and sends that data to the Pi. And all of the audio is coming from Pure Data, which is running on the Raspberry Pi. It's a FM slash regular synth patch that I created. Um, yeah, so it uses frequency modulation and it uses uh, traditional like subtractive synthesis. And yeah, so very quickly I just wanted to go over the controls. So the knobs, um, what we have here is just attack, release. 
uh, this knob here acts as a cutoff filter for the regular uh, sawtooth oscillators, but it also um, changes the amount of frequency modulation for those oscillators. The next knob over is a detune. So the FM synth has like two sets of uh, FM voices that you can detune, and then the regular sawtooth oscillators have the same. This next knob is um, the ratio control for the frequency modulation. It selects between, I believe, 10 of them. Next two knobs are just delay. So this is delay time, delay feedback, and the last knob is just your overall volume output. Um, towards the back, there's just an eighth inch. This is a mono output. And then this USB here is just uh, for power, just powers everything. There's no data getting sent over the USB. So um, the main control obviously is the screen. <clears throat> you have eight notes going from left to right. It's A minor. I could put in more scales, but right now I've just kept a A minor. And then the Y position, depending on what your patch is like, can modulate different things. So, then we got two buttons. First button goes into kind of a preset mode, where you have eight different presets that you can select. And then you can uh, save them by hitting this red area over here, or load them with this green area. But we're going to do neither of those things. Um, then there's a bit of sort of menus that I built in with the LEDs. So this first screen, I'm not sure how well it's showing up on either of these cameras, but first screen, these kind of act as sliders. Um, and what this first one is, is a glide control. So just a portamento glide between notes. Um, these next three deal with uh, LFO1, uh, first slider being the frequency, second slider being the amount, and the third is kind of a selector, and this selects between the uh, three different waveforms. There's a sine wave, square, and a sawtooth. So LFO1 is, is controls the cutoff slash FM amount. That's just kind of hard, hard wired, hard connected to that. Then the next three are LFO2, and LFO2 is the same deal. <clears throat> it's a frequency, amount, and then waveform. And uh, LFO2 is attached to the pitch, so you can get some vibrato and stuff going with LFO2. Uh, this last slider here is the overall octave. Okay, so next screen. This screen deals mostly with what the Y position controls. So these are kind of on off columns. And what we have here is first one, if this is on, the Y position will control the amplitude. Second one will be the pitch. And when you're in pitch mode, it's kind of the center of the screen is the correct note and then you can pitch bend it up or down. Um, next one over is the cutoff slash uh, frequency modulation amount aka this knob and you can actually use the screen position in conjunction with the knob so you can kind of set it here and then it kind of floats around the point you set with the knob. So <clears throat> uh, la or not last one, second to last on the Y uh, modulation is LFO 1 speed. So, you know, just up and down, quicker LFO, slower LFO. Last one is octave, and yeah, same deal. As you move up, you move up octaves. I think I did at least one sound in the intro sound section that does that. And then this last one is kind of a hold mode for the synthesizer. It's a, it's sort of a paraphonic synth. Um, the screen actually only accepts, you know, one finger at a time. If you try to put two on, it kind of gives you something in, in between where your fingers are as far as the value. 
So to get around that, I suppose I could demo it really quick. So when that is on, when you hit a note, let's bring that up a little bit. We got some crazy sounds going on. But that note is now held and you can play. And then to close the overall envelope, you just hit it again. But I'm going to get into the actually going through and demoing things here in a second. Um, so first screen, second screen, dealing mostly with the uh, Y position. And the last screen is actually just the sort of the mixer for all the voices. So this first slider is the FM voices. Second one is just the regular sawtooth voices. And the third one is noise. Let me turn this back up and hear that. So you have all three voices there. So now I'm going to go through and just quickly make maybe like a pad sound or something. I've been doing a lot of pads on this. Um, I think it sounds pretty cool. So immediately we are going to pull up the attack and decay. Let's just see. Let's actually bring down everything except our sawtooth. thing. So let's go into the modular, I guess the LFOs. Um, you can try to do some glide. Yeah, it kind of sounds cool. Let's bring up LFO one a little bit. That's quite a bit. Bring it down. I might adjust these sliders because honestly most of my values are so low that there's barely even the LED barely even comes on. We're gonna keep that as a sine wave and we'll kind of sort of set up the same thing for the pitch. If we turn it way up, we can really hear it modulating the pitch, but we want it really slow and pretty subtle. And we're gonna keep it a sine wave as well. Uh, we might want to bring the octave up. Sounds pretty good. <clears throat> then for the Y position, I definitely am going to want the cutoff. I seem to always put that on. It always seems to work pretty well. So <clears throat> we'll keep the Y for the cutoff. We'll put on LFO one speed as well. And we'll put it into the hold mode. So for our last screen, we're going to bring up some levels. Yeah, let's see how it sounds. So we get that note hidden. hidden. We have that note held down. Cut off one turn. And you hear the uh, ratio is shifting for the FM here. Sounds pretty cool. Mm-hmm. 
quickly, I can just demo some of the other stuff. Like, so if we have Octave on, you can definitely hear. It sounds kind of ridiculous if you have a glide because it's <clears throat> gliding up a whole octave. But... Then we could do stuff like overall amplitude. I kind of rarely use that one, but what we could do, let's do the pitch. So you can kind of hear that going. So yeah, that's a quick patch. Um, I've built like eight patches on this thing. Um, most of them were in the, the intro there, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned. I'm sure I'll make more things. I seem to always be making things. Um, it takes me a while to obviously come up with this stuff <clears throat> and then build it. So usually after I build it, I tinker with it for a couple weeks until I'm happy enough to use it in a live environment. And at that point, I try to try to shoot a video for it. So, but yeah, um, thinking about possibly making these for sale. I don't know yet if I'll be able to. Oh, I should mention also the the case is uh, wood, and it's cut out with my new CNC machine. So, got a CNC machine. Pretty stoked on that. Do kind of, I would like to build these for sale. Currently, I don't really have the time because I have a day job, but I don't know. Let me know if you're interested. Um, a lot of people have been asking to buy my things that I don't sell. So maybe if I get enough people bothering me, I'll eventually decide to make some stuff for sale. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, stay tuned for the next one, whenever that will be.